you have an advice to them, young people globally who want to be like Elon Musk, what's your advice to them? I think that probably they shouldn't want to be. <laughs> you? <laughs> it, it, I think it sounds better than it is. It's uh, not as much fun being me as you'd think. <laughs> uh, but <laughs> if, uh, you know, I, I think advice, I mean, if you want to make progress in things, I think that um, the, the, the best analytical framework for understanding the future is physics. Um, I'd recommend studying the, uh, the, the thinking process around physics, like not, not just not, not, not the equations. I mean, the equations, certainly, they're helpful. But the, the, the way of thinking in physics is the, it's the best framework for understanding things that are counterintuitive. Um, and, um, and, you know, always taking the position that you are some degree wrong, and your goal is to be less wrong over time. Um, the, I, one of the biggest mistakes people generally make, and I'm guilty of it too, is wishful thinking. You know, like you want something to be true, even if it isn't true, um, and so you ignore the things that uh, you, you ignore the real truth because of what you want to be true. Um, this is a very difficult trap to avoid, um, and like I said, it's certainly one that I uh, find myself in having problems with. If you just take that approach of you're always to some degree wrong and your goal is to be less wrong and, and solicit critical feedback, particularly from friends. Friends, particularly friends, if somebody loves you, they want the best for you. They don't want to tell you the bad things. Um, so you have to ask them, you know, and say, really, I, I really do want to know. <laughs> and, and then they'll tell you.